Hey everybody, Chris with Killer Arcade Games here. Today I'm going to show you a quick addition to my, I guess, how you set up MAME video. Some things have changed in MAME in recent releases. I'm not exactly sure when this changed, but games that require a CHD file, which is a hard drive file, need to be in a different folder set up than what I originally said in my video that I made a while back. So what I've done so far is downloaded two games that have hard drive files. This is the version I used to run the NBA Showtime NFL Blitz 2000 combo ROM on my Blitz cabinet. And it finally runs a lot smoother and doesn't require as much powerful hardware as it did before. I made a whole video on that and people are now coming to me like, hey, I've got MAME installed, I followed your video, and no matter what, I get this error. And it's saying NBA NFL 3 not found. And you're thinking, well, what is that? Well, that's the CHD file it's missing. Gauntlet Legends is another game that requires a CHD file. And you can see here it also thinks it's missing. So I'm going to show you how to fix that pretty quickly. You back out, go into your ROMs folder. And what we're going to need to do now is make folders inside the ROMs folder. As you can see, I'm up here. Inside your ROMs folder, right click, make a new folder. We're going to start with NBA Showtime Blitz ROM. We're just going to name this folder the exact same name as the actual ROM file, which is NBA Gold. So NBA G-O-L-D, hit enter. And now we're gonna take the, where is it? NBA NFL 3 CHD, and we're gonna drag it right into there. And let's just test this by going back to MAME. Let's launch MAME and make sure it finds it now. All right, here we are, let's try it. And look at that, MAME now knows where to find the CHD file. I have no idea why they changed this information, why it changed between whatever version it happened in, whatever version it decided to be changed in. No clue what caused it, but let's go back and look again. All you have to do is go into your ROMs folder. Find the actual ROM, which in this case is down here. The zipped files, do not unzip these files, but you need to make a folder named after the ROM name. It doesn't matter if the CHD file has a different name or a different spelling, like for example, NBA Gold actually is a different name inside of here. What you need to do is make that folder the exact same name as the actual ROM. I'm gonna do the same thing really quick with Gauntlet Legends just to show you. We're gonna go down, we're gonna create a new folder inside the ROMs folder, G-A-U-N-T-L-E-G. -E okay, I got the spelling correct, I believe. I'm looking at it on a weird screen. And we're finding the Gauntlet Legends CHD file. We're gonna grab it, we're gonna drop it right in there, and we're gonna go test it. And let's see. And there you go, Gauntlet Legends is now running just fine. I'm, I'm using a keyboard, but I'm gonna put some credits in and it's running. So now that this problem is fixed for you, I still wanna make one note. If you're still not able to find that file or MAME says that file is still missing, you probably don't have the right CHD file or the right ROM for the version of MAME you're in. Unfortunately, I cannot legally help you with that. If I start telling everybody where to find ROMs on YouTube, I'm gonna get in trouble at some point probably gonna get my channel removed and I, I just can't help you, unfortunately. Um, if I could, believe me, I would. The best thing I can say is Google is your friend. There is a website called archive.org that may help you find some things. That's all I can tell you at this point, though. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more arcade, emulation, tutorials, all that content. And leave me a comment. There is a chance I got something wrong in this tutorial. If I did, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you happen to know when MAME changed this, when, when they started requiring folders for the CHD files, let me know in the comments also. I'd love to get that information and we can spread it around in case people ask questions later. Well, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.